This video shows how to use the HTML5 based vSphere client to assign hosts to a vSphere distributed switch and to migrate their VM kernel adapters and physical network adapters. In this example, we'll start with some hosts containing the same number of physical adapters and with the same physical network connectivity. The configuration we'll arrive at on each host is as follows. Four physical adapters assigned to the vSphere distributed switch VM NIC 0 through VM NIC 3 and assigned to uplink VM NIC 0 through uplink VM NIC 3. A distributed port group named Management to which all the VM kernel adapters VMK0 are assigned for the management traffic. A distributed port group named VMotion to which all the VM kernel adapters VMK1 are assigned for vMotion traffic. Note, this video does not go into detail about virtual machines. To maintain network connectivity, we'll migrate vmk and vmnic traffic at the same time. Each host in our production cluster has a default management vm kernel adapter for management traffic and a default vm kernel adapter for vMotion traffic connected to the default standard switch. Also, each host has six physical network adapters, VM NIC 0 through 5, of which we will use four in the new network configuration. To add hosts to the vSphere distributed switch, navigate to Networking. We start with a vSphere distributed switch named Production, but there are no hosts currently assigned to it. We also start with two distributed port groups named Management and vMotion one for management traffic and one for vMotion traffic, and our uplink names are uplink vmnic0 through 3, but you can use your own naming convention. To add host to the production vSphere distributed switch, select the distributed switch, right-click and select Add and Manage Hosts. Alternatively, you can select Add and Manage Hosts from the Action menu. Select Add Hosts and click Next. Click New Hosts. From the list of hosts, make your selection to add to the distributed switch. You can filter for the hosts or make individual selections. Here we select all hosts by checking the top level checkbox. Click OK, then click Next. In the Manage Physical Adapters page, we'll map the physical adapters to the uplink. Select the physical adapter and click Assign Uplink. Instead of mapping a physical adapter in a host one at a time to the uplink port group, which is time consuming, we can make all the assignments at once by checking apply this uplink assignment to the rest of the hosts and click OK. Repeat this process for VMNIC1 through VMNIC3. In the physical adapters page, you can see the same configuration has been made to all the hosts. Click Next. In the Manage VM Kernel Adapters page, we'll migrate VMK0 to the management network and migrate VMK1 to the vMotion network. The VM Kernel Adapters are listed for each host under the On Other Switches slash Unclaimed section. First, select VMK0 and click Assign Port Group. Select the management network. Like assigning uplinks to multiple hosts in the previous step, click Apply this port group assignment to the rest of the hosts to make all the assignments at once. Click OK. As you see, the same configuration has been made to all the hosts. The destination port group is now management for all VMK0 VM kernel adapters. Next, perform a similar operation to migrate VMK1 to the vMotion network. Select VMK1 and click Assign Port Group. Select the vMotion network. Click Apply this port group assignment to the rest of the hosts to make all the assignments at once. Click OK. The same vMotion configuration has been made to all hosts for the VMK1 VM kernel adapters. Click Next. In this example, we are not dealing with virtual machines, so click Next at the Migrate VM Networking page 
then click Finish. The network configuration is applied and the UI is updated to reflect the new status. Look at the topology map for the distributed switch. The hosts and their physical network adapters have been migrated to the uplink group. The VMK0 VM kernel adapters have been migrated to the management distributed port group. The VMK1 VM kernel adapters have been migrated to the vMotion distributed port group. In addition, the hosts have remained online and have not lost network connectivity. You can review the networking on a per host basis by selecting a host and selecting configure virtual switches under networking. The standard switch previously used is empty. Because it is not now in use, you can delete the standard switch. On the host virtual switches page, expand standard switch and select remove from the ellipsis menu. Click yes to remove the standard switch. The UI is updated to reflect the switch's removal. This video has shown how to use the vSphere client to assign a set of hosts to a vSphere distributed switch and migrate their VM kernel adapters and physical network adapters. For additional information about configuring networking for vSphere and ESXi hosts, visit docs.vmware.com. Thank you.